have a guest here at Candrone today, Mauricio from Cantronics, who's going to talk about OGI. Mauricio, tell us more about Cantronics and how you guys got into the OGI business. For sure, Thomas. Thank you for having us here today. Well, basically, uh, if I want to tell you about Cantronics, they've been in the market for the last 30 years and they, uh, they've been working uh, with the development, manufacturing, and distribution of uh, infrared imaging solutions. Whether it is night vision goggles to those, uh, you remember those thermometers that were at the entrance of shopping malls and cinemas, you would basically walk in and would, they would tell you if you had a fever or not. The, those, oh, the old the, pandemic days. The old pandemic days. Yeah. Those were Cantronics, basically. So they've been working with OGI technology for a long time now as well. And it's basically OGI technology is, is, is based on the reflection of the uh, infrared radiation. So that's what the detector absorbs and that's how we can visualize the gases. But yeah, we've been there for a long time now. So what makes Cantronics OGI sensors different? The main difference I would say is we manufacture our own detector. So our sister company manufactures the, uh, the inside of the camera. So we are able to be flexible when it comes to accommodating every client's needs. So if you come and tell me, uh, so Mauricio, I want to detect ammonia, we can do so. Mauricio, I want to detect hydrogen, we can do so. Uh, we currently, with this payload, we can detect methane, propane, butane, and we, we can do so for some other 400 different types of volatile organic compounds. So it can be gas-specific or multiple gas, and that's driven through the software? It's driven to a filter. So okay. the detector stays the same. We just basically modify the filter so we can accommodate a wider spectral response. So that makes you kind of unique in the market? I would say so. That's why we have such a competitive price as well. Cool. <laughs> and how do you see the application of OGI on a drone platform? Well, uh, as you know, drones help in a lot of ways. And uh, one, of, one of the ways they help with is making faster inspections. We can cover a broader area. They can help us comply with regulations. When the drones are inspecting the area, you, you'll be able to figure out if you have a leak and before it becomes a problem, we can address that problem, right? And but last but not least, I think it's more cost efficient because you don't have to deploy personnel to a uh, pain point that could be hazardous or maybe uh, too far from where you're standing. So you can send the drone as many times as you want and make it, well, more efficient. Can you talk about the range capability yeah. of your OGI, you know, as far as handheld or on a drone? So that's a really good question, Thomas. When it comes to the accuracy and range of the cameras, the EPA in the US have this program that is called Quad O A, Quad B, C. It basically tells you how small does the leak has to be for you to detect it and how sensitive does your camera has to be. We are able to detect methane on a 19 grams per hour rate able to detect propane on a 22 grams per hour rate, but also butane on a 29, per, uh, 29 grams per hour rate. So those are the standards set by the EPA and we can address that. The uh, second factor that, that I would put in is distance. We can easily detect from zero to 25 meters when it comes to the handheld, I would say. But again, depending on the size of the leak, you have to be uh, closer if it's a smaller leak, right? So we can detect with the drone as far as 300 meters. And with that, is the OGI sensor the best that's out there as far as sensitivity and capabilities? Yes, I would like to say so. We tested the unit in the really cold weather and it, it performed really well. I mean, we managed to get those uh, detection rates that I mentioned before. And when it comes to hot weather, of course, whenever we have really good weather here in, in British Columbia, we try and test it every time. And is it agnostic? Does it work with DJI drones? How's your platform adapt to the different drone platforms? Well, when it comes to the EI, we can work with either the M300 or the M350 RDK. Those are really reliable platforms, of course, as you know. And you can easily uh, use the camera from within the Pilot 2 app. So you'll be able to access the settings, you'll be able to move the camera around, and you'll be able to take pictures and video right from it. So you don't need any additional devices. In it. So with the OGI, where do you see uh, Contronics uh, as far as the energy and uh, call it the pipeline industry as far as inspections. So every company here has an elder program that is called the leak detection and repair. It's basically a procedure when you go and do inspections every once in a while. So you take your drone out there, you do the inspections every once in a while and it's required by the government, right? So when it comes to preventive maintenance, we also have an issue there. 
And last but not least, regulatory compliance is a big game for us. The government is enforcing these inspections to happen quite often, and we're having a big role in it. And with this inspection, um, there's likely a condition report that's required as part of the maintenance program? Well, yes. Uh, for instance, with the handheld camera, you can easily spot the leak and then just quantify the leak and then you can create a report. When it comes to the drone, we record videos, but also take pictures that you can process in different uh, softwares afterwards and you can, you'll be able to see the results of the inspections. And so I hear you guys have a new sensor our new and improved sensor oh well, yes uh, it's it's coming out like a, like I told before it will have the capability of having a second camera on board so this is different from from all the competitors out there you'll be able to point out the camera to where the leak is coming from and then change to the RGB camera so you'll be able to see what's going on around there with a regular sensor and how's your OGI payload adapted to the M350 is there a special motherboard or uh, a special mount board that's required or have you just adapted the payload to the current uh, DJI uh, uh, gimbal adapter? Our R&D uh, team uh, worked with the uh, proprietary DAI SDK and they implemented the sensor right into it so you don't have to do anything with it just put it underneath. So with the competition and some of the bigger players in the market where do you land price-wise? Oh, we have the most competitive price on the market. Given the fact that we manufacture our detectors, we are able to drop down the price. So we have very good offerings. It is a very good opportunity to get into OGI now. And with our products, there is an edge because when it comes to training and everything else, we're able to support you. Uh, what makes a difference is that our detectors last twice than the competition. So there's so, a limited life to these There's detectors. a limited lifetime to these detectors. Uh, the competition uses different technology and we use hot T2SL detectors, which are middle wave infrared detectors that can last for as long as 16,000 hours, which wow. is double the competition. That means better return on investment for sure. And with uh, support, how do you support your sensor? So if I were to buy a sensor, what kind of support would I expect from Cantronics? Well, as far as we, uh, it comes training, we can do one-on-one. -on -one. We have explanatory videos. We will also, we can work out with you or your team for webinars. But any questions that you may have, uh, we are North American located. So if you have any troubles with your sensors, i.e. your handheld or drone cameras, you ship it back to us. If you cannot solve it yourself, you ship it back to us and we get it fixed and then ship it back to you. And if I was a total novice, let's say I fly drones, mm -hmm. I do photogrammetry or mapping. How hard would it be for me to be able to use your sensor? How much training would require or is it kind of intuitive? It is very intuitive because uh, remember that we're trying to visualize a leak. We're not trying to do anything else with it. So basically it lies just the way, the, the way you use the drone. Point at the sources that might be leaking any emissions and then keep searching and that's it. it it's all about the settings that you put into the camera. And those settings are based on the uh, on the conditions around you. So basically, if you have really cold, really cold weather, you may want to change some settings on the camera. But it's not at all complicated. We can easily easily help you out with that. And with that, do you see uh, benefits in? you know, let's say automated repeated uh, inspection. So you did an inspection last month, now you're back to redo the inspection. With the DJI through Flight Hub, do you use the same mission? Yes, you can certainly do that. I mean, whether you're deploying an M350 or the, uh, in the future, we'll be able to deploy smaller drones with OGI sensors. But if you're doing that, yeah, I know of companies that have the need that of putting a dock in their terminals or terminals and then just by the pressing of a button, do the inspections regularly. So you there see that. down the future, yes. your OGI sensor shrinking to the point that it could be adopted to, uh, let's say, DJI Dock 2? I would, I, would, I would like to think so, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, and it's how far along the way do you see that uh, happening? I would like to say this year, uh, hopefully we'll see it happening and you will be first. We will, you will be the first to know for sure. That's quite exciting because yeah, we see the value of the Dock 2 mm -hmm. and its capability to automate and the ability to fly repeated missions. Yes, yes. Mauricio, we so appreciate your time here with us and sharing uh, your OGI sensor and more about Contronics. And we look forward to hearing more about uh, your exciting product line. 
and definitely working with uh, Cantronics moving forward. Thank you, Thomas. My pleasure. Thank you for having me here.